Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Jenna. I film a lot of productivity, lifestyle, bullet journal videos and vlogs, so if you want to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Thomas is here and we're going to go to the grocery store to pick up some groceries for my Q&A that I'm doing today. We're doing a mukbang style hot pot Q&A, so basically I'm showing you guys part one of my Q&A. We're going to go to 99 Ranch in Fairfax. I've never been there before, but it's new. We're going to see what that looks like and then we're going to stop by Trader Joe's to get some of like my weekly groceries that I need at a daily basis. So we're gonna do that pretty quickly and I'll show you guys what everything looks like inside 99 Ranch for those of you who are interested. And then we're gonna haul some groceries and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna get. And also happy new year, it's January 1st. Happy New Year, guys. Oh, something I did want to show you guys. This is Desi Perkins' brand, and it's just named Desi with a Z. This is the Charge It style in, like, the nude collection, and what do you guys think? I think these are so cool. I love this style, and I've been wanting new sunglasses for a really long time, but there's just no reason to get them, I guess, but Thomas got these for me for Christmas. Here's my little outfit for today. This is a new hoodie that I got from Zara. These are the Gymshark high-waisted flex leggings my Air Max 95s and this is my Telfer bag in the olive green small size and then my mom's mask of course so this will be a fun video I actually haven't done like a full grocery store haul yet on my channel so I figured that'd be fun <gasps> We are matching! We're gonna go to Trader Joe's first pretty quickly and then we're gonna go to 99 Ranch, come back here and I'll show you guys what we got. I feel like, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're closed. We can't, <laughs> we're not going to Trader Joe's, but we can go to 99 Ranch and still get our daily groceries from there. I just, I was excited to go to Trader Joe's. I always do this. This is like, I literally always go to the grocery store when it's closed. On the holiday. And I just assume that it's open. Oh, I got a car fragrance from Bath and Body Works because they were doing like a sale. We're not gonna go to Trader Joe's, but we're gonna go to 99 Ranch. The Asian market should be open. They don't care about holidays. So <laughs> let's go to 99 Ranch. While we're on the way to 99 Ranch, I did wanna tell you guys about what happened yesterday. So I got an email that my application to be an Archer and Olive affiliate was accepted yesterday. That basically means that I have a discount code for you guys now. So if you wanna use the code Jenna10 to get 10% off your order from anything with Archer and Olive, a portion of those sales will go to me too for commission. I think that there's no better one than to have Archer and Olive be my first affiliate. I'm just really excited to finally give you guys something if you want to try some of their products. You know that Archer and Olive products are basically all that I use when it comes to bullet journaling. I've tried their color graph markers and they're amazing. All of my notebooks are from Archer and Olive and I just really stand by not only their products but also their brand. So I have a code for you guys which is really cool. Thank you guys for supporting me and allowing me to become an Archer and Olive affiliate and yeah maybe I'll do a whole different video on all of my favorite Archer and Olive products but they have a mixture of notebooks of all different sizes. They have undated planners. They have so many things and yeah maybe I'll do a whole separate haul and show you guys everything that I love from Archer and Olive but for now use code Jenna10 for 10% off your order. Okay guys let's try this again. We are at 99 Ranch and let's just go see what it looks like.
event was really cool. I thought that it looked very new and I'm excited to try the Ube burger. That's what me and Thomas got. Really nice Asian market if you want any Asian groceries and they had regular groceries too. I got bread. I'll show you guys everything that we got when we come back. But for now, we're gonna wait for Thomas with the Ube burger. Thomas has returned. It's called Cuisina. I'm really excited. The Ube burger looked really cool. Here are the fries. We're just splitting one for now because we're gonna have hot pot later. Yeah, we're getting hot pot tonight, which you guys will see on Monday. Ah, <sighs> wait. Wow. Ube burger. I'm going in. It's egg, Filipino sausage, cheese, and ube. <laughs> yeah, no vegetables in here. Yeah, no vegetables. Mm. Is it good? Did you? You didn't sanitize your hands. I did. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, an, it's like a McGriddle on steroids. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna eat this Ube burger and then go back home and I'll show you guys what we got and then we'll end off this vlog with our haul. Okay, hello guys, we're back home and I'm gonna show you what we got from 99 Ranch. Okay, so I got the family toast bread because bread was something that I really needed from Trader Joe's but since they were closed, I just need some bread for the week so I can have breakfast. So I got family toast. I got sesame sauce for hot pot sauce. I got peanut sauce and the fried chili oil. I already have oyster sauce and sesame seeds. So those are kind of those things plus these things will be the perfect sauce that I like to make for my hot pot. Some enoki mushrooms, baby bok choy, some broccoli. Usually when we have hot pot, we usually just eat like a ramen packet and remove the seasoning. But at 99 Ranch, we saw these noodles that don't have the seasoning, so we just got one of these. Stocked up on a bunch of new hot pot seasoning packets for the soup base. And we have spicy hot, tomato flavor, and beef towel hot pot sauce. So we like to have hot pot together with our neighbors too. So we got to stock up on these. This is what Thomas really wanted, the turtle chips. Okay, and then lastly for our hot pot haul, we got all of our meats. This is a variety pack of fish cakes slash fish balls, pork belly sliced. We have lamb leg, <laughs> beef short rib, shabu shabu. Okay, so here's all of the meat that we're gonna be eating. Oh. I didn't get this at 99 Ranch, but another thing that you have to have with hot pot is dumplings, and these are my mom's homemade dumplings that I just keep in the freezer, so we'll add this to our hot pot too. Make sure to stick around on Monday for the Q&A where I eat all this food and answer your questions. Thank you guys so much for submitting questions. I really didn't expect to get many, but I actually got a lot, so I'm excited for you guys to get to know me a little more. Watch me eat some hot pot as I answer your questions, but... For the most part, that's my grocery haul. Here's everything from our hot pot haul. Okay guys, that's it for today's video. I just wanted to do a quick <laughs> This is like the fifth time I'm doing this. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you guys had fun watching us go to Trader Joe's and fail, but we did go to 99 Ranch and check out everything that they have there. And we did a whole entire hot pot haul too. That's everything. Make sure you stick around on Monday for the Q&A where I eat all of that food and answer your questions. Hi. <laughs> oh, also, 99 Ranch is really good. Yeah, 99 Ranch was really cool. I highly recommend going there. It just feels very new, too, you know? The only thing that I can't speak to is prices. I really don't know how the prices compare to, like, H Mart. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in my next one. But until then, I miss you already.